Good morning and welcome back. Welcome back from us here at B&D Chronicles. So, today we're gonna take a stroll through, I think it's Flintwoods, mm -hmm. up by where our brother lives. Good morning, Brad. Hello. You look like you're ready to go to infinity and beyond. Anyway, we're gonna go for a walk and we've decided we were gonna go ahead and take you guys along with us because we haven't been and she just impromptu wants to and I have decided I guess I'll take you guys along. So let's go ahead and get on up there and we'll take you along and see what we can see. Now we finally got our main license plates back. Still got a little bit to do to get her ready but that will come in time. Everything is working out the way it should. Man, it feels like old times. It's been a while since I just decided to start these things, get ready, to drive somewhere. Let's go. Have you ever been up there before? Yeah, been a long time, but yeah. Okay. So we have arrived. Powder House Hill Trails open dawn to dusk. So this is Flint Woods, as you can see here. And then actually, this is Anson Street, which leads up to where my brother, Jay, lives. So where you're able to find it, that street that is just right here, that's North Street. Anson continues on down that way, which just at the end of it, going that way towards town and downtown, leads right to Main Street and Meeting House Park. So if you need it, I'll give you also a little bit more of an, an actual location down in the description. Flint Woods, James, James Prentice, Flint Jr., Barbara Gammon, Flint. Ah, he was a junior, so am I. It's dedicated in 1988 property of Bonnie Woods Corporation. And they do have some trail maps, which she just picked up I one. you return them though, so I grabbed a folded one because I'm going to fold it anyway. Gotcha. And you were telling me on the way here, leave no trace. Oh. Donations and, uh, through Venmo. Uh, it says do not pick plants, do not build structures, no camping, take out trash and dog waste, no hunting. Stay on existing trails. Do not ride bikes on muddy trails. No ATVs or snowmobiles. Dogs must be under control. And this is a quick map if you want to stop it there just to get a good look. And it is managed by Bonnie Woods Corporation. We are all a volunteer and charitable organization. And of course, Franklin Savings Bank. So with that being said, let's get on. And yes. This should be a lot of fun. And there are little things on the trees. What does that one say, Brad? It's a missing dog. It oh. It's a uh, orange and white. Got, oh, it's a missing, uh, okay, gotcha. So just coming out from the beginning, you can either go this way, that way, there's a trail that goes off that way. And they look like they do have trail names. Sounds like there's already people up and around. And just right here where we parked, there's parking area, dawn until dusk. And I can see that the trees are also marked. Which way do you want to go, sweetums? That's what I've been trying to ask, but you keep talking over me. Pick a direction, people. You pick a direction. Brad's picking a direction. Let's go. We decided to go right. Now, I have decided, and so has the wife decided, to walk in lighter shoes, as it were. Brad did the what I would consider probably a, a little bit more of a smarter idea. However, this is a light walk through here. <sighs> it does smell nice in here. 
all the different ferns that are right here and the way the trees look. I know it's not the redwoods, but it still reminds me a little bit of Endor from Return of the Jedi. Or maybe even Kashyyyk. Whoa, what was that? Did you hear that? Baby, I heard an Ewok. Do you? Oh, there's a place to sit. And just off in the distance, there's a picnic table. That sounds like it would be fun to do. So we've just kind of come up over this. This is the East Trail. Just seeing this now. The pointing east, yeah. Where from relatively where the sun is, rises up that way. So that would make sense. But yeah, we, we come this way and right over here and now we're making this right you could make a left if you really wanted to she's having fun taking pictures i did want to announce that we had been going to the gym for a good while since we've been back but we haven't been back in a month because we've both been working like almost non-stop just to catch up things, mainly with the car and other bills and whatnot. But that's okay, won't bore you with the details. But anyway, we've been going back to the gym and stuff. But I haven't been in a month, so it's a little bit walking wise. The stamina's. Hey, sweetums. That was the root of all problems right now. <laughs> so watch, definitely watch where you're going. Stump, stumped, and more stumped. Yeah, my brother just lives right over there. So there's a pond back here that I wasn't aware of. Oh. Well, if we're coming back and around, because we'll, well. Yep, just over there. There, yep. You can see there's there's a definitely a pond down there. She stopped to take a picture of mushrooms. mushrooms. You know, funny thing when they say moss only grows on the north side of the tree. Well, guess what? Here in Flint Woods, that seems to be the complete opposite. <laughs> Flint Lockwood. Well, I guess in this case that makes it so. Wait a second. Somebody else used to say that. That's right, the card. What's this way? Here, let me see, whereabouts are we? Whereabouts, yeah. About there? Mm -hmm. And where did we start again? Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like it's in the shape of Maine, in a way. I know, I was thinking that. So as we're going this way, continuing straight, this is actually kind of elevated. As you can tell, they're headed up. We're gonna be heading up this way. You can see we're getting plenty of sun. Lots of photosynthesis in here. What do you think, Brad? Birch wood with some fungi on it. Oh. Like a daddy long lake. Hmm. This is really nice. Should have done this a long time ago. Don't know why. Always talked about it. I think I've even talked about it in other videos. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go off and do this. Never did it. There's a lot of things in Florida. I said, yeah, I'm gonna go do this. I didn't do it. <laughs> For a second, I was like, oh, please, let somebody in a Stormtrooper outfit come flying over to this hill. Because if you look at it just right, that's all I can see. It's just them coming right over there and just... <laughs> they missed. A lot of pine straw in this area. Well... When they say what goes up, must, go, must down. go down. And there's a bridge just down there. What, Brad? 
Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton to you, young man. This is really cool. Oh, if somebody out there sees this, why there's metal on one side and not on the other, Brad was wondering. I don't know, and neither does his mother. But if there's somebody that knows exactly why that is, leave me a comment down below. So as we have made it up and down and over through the East Trail, which stops here. Well, it continues on that way, it looks like. We can either go this way or we can keep going on that way, which is, it says Flint Woods up that way on that. Oh, Horn Woods, that's entering Horn Woods, which I think takes you up closer to where we used to live at the old apartment. Yeah. It actually goes behind Box Shop Hill, I think. Yeah. Uh, kinda. kinda. Oh, look, we just crossed the bridge, we're here. Mm -hmm. Box shop is all the way back over here. Okay. But it comes up and around mm -hmm. that way. Yeah, I mean, we could easily go up that way, but the easier trail is this way. So, so we're going to go this way this time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Until I can get some better views. I know these aren't going to be good for how narrow and You've been up that way before, right? No. Oh, okay. But I have an app on my phone that talks about the different trails. And actually right there... I think that leads out, like right there. I think that leads into a, is that an ATV trail right there that I'm looking at? Okay. That's kind of one of those things they say don't go on. I'm pretty sure when they say that. I think the next time we'll come through here is during fall time. So we'll go up into those, that other trail over there. But for now, we're gonna stay in Flint Woods. Yeah. At least this time. Next time, which we'll probably say for when the leaves have really changed. So just as a public service announcement to those, because I always like to let people know with most of the stuff that we're doing and walking through, Definitely check for ticks. They've actually been pretty bad this year from what I've been hearing. And two, do not remove any of the wood on the ground at all. They do not want you to remove anything from in here whatsoever. Take me home, old country road. <laughs> was that the first one? That was the older song, right? I don't and then they came up with just country. No. So splits off here as well. Okay, what do we got? Um, so we can, we're here. We can take the green route, which is that route, which takes us out by the lookout that sees the mount. Uh, Ooh. We can look out or we can just continue into the shorter route. That would be fun. Let's do this thing. Let's do that. So instead of going that way, the easier way, we're going to go out and do a lookout and you can see, what, well, like the mountains? I think the county mountains. Cool. Let's do it. Look at the size of that log. Wow. It's a pretty big one. So we got a couple ways we can go, which it looks like we're gonna keep going that way. This one is cross cut that you can also entering Hornwoods, which will go off that way. I guess you can choose to come back this way before continuing up further. So I was just informed because I like talking about history and giving details. I was just informed that this rock formation that is along right here, what showed the borders between two people's properties, which would make a lot of sense. So that way they knew where their lines were drawn. Now everything here is pretty much owned by the entire town and various things, you know, now, here in 2024, but yeah, that right there. It signifies for land. What used to be two people's properties, way, way property back, lines. the property lines. Yeah, some people did that. It was 
because they would have owned. It was a definitive. Yeah. So it looks like that wall ended up right about here. along the lines of ends at and then it would say tree and then describe the tree. That's one thing that is super cool about her with her love for anthropology and history. It's like when I was younger I used to love mathematics but then I realized I wasn't really all that good with it and decided I didn't like it quite as much as I thought no feels like it was a mosquito. Sorry about that. <laughs> I am sweating a little. Yeah. It is still pretty warm in here. Uh. Oh, did you guys hear that? That was a horse fly. Those things aren't very nice. They like to bite. And we also have these little yellow ones that'll bite at you as well. I said they have them down in Florida, but they're really not nice here. And then there's these little flies, which we call minges. They're like little gnats. They love to fly into your eye. Mess with your eye. Yeah, all the time. I call them ninja minges. So we are now down here at Woods Connector. She's checking it out. Huh? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Uh. Debark. What is that? We debark from the situation. Look. What? We debark from the situation. I think it's this no, part. that was the dog. Well, from here, I can. It sounds like I can hear them on the. What was that? Oh, God. And these little mushrooms everywhere. Stepped on that I don't think I don't think it's the kind that uh, are from the Mario Brothers but yeah like I was saying I can hear people on the road like trucks and stuff and this is the low traverse that takes you down that way we're not going to go that it's way Ooh. Rare to find this when it's given some interesting well, it's probably left over from last year I'm pretty I don't know. Just it. <laughs> oh, these root systems. I almost feel like I'm walking. And there should be orcs flying over those. <laughs> a little bit of a Lord of the Rings-esque feeling in here. Here, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the Fairbanks Road. I figured we weren't that far. Yeah, white birch. Littered all over the place over here. Real quick thing to those that come through Maine and whatnot. If you get a hold of this, like take this, white birch is, has this oil and it'll burn and it's very good for kindling. I wouldn't cook with it though. But it is good for a fire. If you need to boil something, use the white birch for that. Damn. I think that little frog right there, I think that is considered, is that a peeper? There's these little frogs. Whenever winter finishes and everything starts to thaw out and stuff, and later at night, you hear a bunch of, like they sound like they're peeping, like, like kind of like little uh, ch little chicks, they make that chirping sound, and they call them peepers. Thank you. Yeah, they come out the and then jump in the road. And after every time it rains, usually at night, they like to run across them and bigger toads and frogs and stuff, running around, hopping. Sometimes they're a little unavoidable. Now we're heading into a little area which almost feels like the eye of a hurricane. It opens up right out over here. Wow, you can hear all those trucks out there. I'm 
almost looks like a burning pile over there. Yeah, it looks like the guy had to get cleared out in here. If I really had to uh, guess. Yeah, it looks like it. Lots of little ferns. Fern type. And evergreen type trees. Oh man. As you can see, it's clear all up in here. This tree was definitely older than I am. Let's get split out from out here. I don't even know if that's part of it or not. But it's an old tree. So we're actually over by Box Shop Hill. And I know for a fact when I've walked up Box Shop Hill, there was a thing a connector that comes up in here. You never come up this way, but you can come up this way too. And then you either go this way, that way, down that way. And it says we're entering Village Woods. We're going to the Lookout Trail. Well, this is Lookout Trail right here, going this way. We've made another fork. You know to go left or you can go right on Ridge Road. So we want to go left, you said? I think so. Okay. I guess we shall see. Hey, sweetie. Hi. Come here. Hi. That's a boulder. That's a nice boulder. It's not a boulder. It's, it's a rock. rock. So we got a bunch of stuff on this tree. That's red. Village view, it says, on five. Cross cut. And that's it. Uh, is that the red trail? We're no longer on what you said, green. Yeah, I think we ended up on a different <laughs> As a water tower mm. of some sorts. This big old field. Yeah, I feel like we took a wrong turn somewhere. It's okay. We'll get back to it. Albuquerque? Yes. Yeah. Is that where the wrong turn was? I think so. I think we're gonna go this way. That place to sit in the sun. Vitamin D. Yes. Good old vitamin D right there. <laughs> <laughs> Photosynthesis that's what it does with the, uh, that's how the, memory. how, memory, Goop. no, Brad, that's how the grass, the leaves, and all that get nutrients. Mm -hmm. They get nutrients both from water and from the sun. Yeah. And now we're back in Flint Woods. Knock wood. And you lost your hat. So we were in Village Wood going that way. Huh. There's clean towels and it says like root beer, Albuquerque. Oh, pfft. that was weird, Al. Yeah. <laughs> so we. We're back on the green trail. They do have markers on the trees. And we just went we just went the scenic route, that's all. Yeah. And we saw some good views. Ooh. <laughs> Listen to the birdies. That was a Bradley in case you were wondering. Sounding birds. Tell you one thing about being out here and listening to them, being around the nature and the trees and just the 
dust of the earth. It feels really nice. Like getting out of all the noise and garbage, more or less, in the cities. Now, granted, Farmington is way smaller than where we were in Florida and other towns that I've lived in. However, sometimes you just got to get out of it all. Just come out and enjoy. I'd originally asked her if she did want to go to the gym. And I was thinking about talking, which actually I'm glad to announce that we were both back under 300. I've, I haven't lost quite as much because I've been doing life like weightlifting and stuff like a good bit of that but I am much healthier than I was still struggle every now and then with the blood pressure and I'm doing other things to try and counteract that a little more natural and actually doing cardio helps out a lot Oh, and it's, I have something also else to announce. Seven years since I actually quit smoking cigarettes. I quit just before I started this channel. So that means come this October, November area where we filmed our first vlog. I never even introduced us. Like, I just jumped into it. Like, I do everything else most of the time. So if you're new, I'm Beamer. That's Dawn. That's my youngest, Bradley. <laughs> well, we started seven years ago. Wow. That's, that's very interesting. And I really haven't filmed all that much in the last couple years. Lots going on. Most that know me outside of this. So what we got going on? What bird? Bird? Oh, there is a bird. It's a robin. Where's Batman? I guess he's going to tell him. So lookout trail, is that what we were looking at with the water tower is that what we were seeing that's considered the lookout that goes back into village woods yeah there's yellow paint that way too i don't know oh man <laughs> this goes back into village woods though sweetums i got it we got ourselves good and lost, just like Rabbit did. We need a Tigger to help get us out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Why me? Why me? Hmm. I know another... Uh, There's the water tower. This way. You sure about that? Yes. You could smell it, couldn't you? <laughs> All right, Willy Wonka. Wait, there's no yellow brick road. This doesn't lead to Oz. Okay. This is the point in the video where everybody stops and goes, Is that all they do is quote movies? <laughs> yeah, more or less. Yeah, here we go. I know where we are. I was never lost. I was testing you guys. So as many of you that know me and her with filming and the years that you guys have watched and me with my puns and funny, silly shenanigans and stuff, we're sitting here off camera talking and we were talking about the rabbit thing that I was talking about with Tigger. And then I was like, wait, are we? And then we start talking about something else. I'm like, hmm, we're starting to talk in parables. And then she's like, One bowl seems like enough. I don't need a pair of bowls. I'm like, 
Well, look at you, out of all this time. And why wasn't I filming that? Because we were just enjoying the time. <laughs> I just heard another one of those blasted flies that I don't like at all. They, like, I'll be out golfing, and they're like, choom, choom. they're annoying. And they try to bite the top of your head. Wear a, ha a cap, because they will bite the top of your head. Well, it looks like we are coming out of it because there's the car right there. Over Brad's head. Shoot. In order to enjoy all this, I wouldn't even need to go all the way up in that. You just come over here and just plant down in this little, uh, little watering area. Brad, serious picture. <laughs> Thank you, kiddo. That's not serious, Black. Really? Yep, and that's usually the uh, <laughs> the reaction I get to saying things like that. This is nice. This is the one in water. Hey, yeah. You come over here, take off your shoes, put them in, your feet in the water. I wouldn't suggest going and swimming in that though. That's probably not, not acceptable. So this bridge here, this is really nice. It's donated by David Kidd. Well, thank you, David. This is really cool. Now this is the stuff I thoroughly enjoy doing. Coming out into nature. You know, there's a lot of water in it, but the way it's shaped and everything, I almost feel like it's one big giant fire pit. That's gonna take a Petronia. When Brad's headed over there, we're gonna take a fun pick. It's a fun oh, pick! Well, we're definitely gonna have to come back out with you guys at some point. Also, across the way is another pair of trails, which is actually home to the oldest cemetery in Farmington. And out of all the trees that I saw while we walked through here, this one here at the front seems to be one of the biggest. So when we started, we went off this way. So next time, after we came around and meandered our way, Next time we'll we'll go up one of these. Well, that was fun. Um, I thank you for suggesting this. A nice little run out here to nice. Powderhouse Hills Trail from Flitwood. We saw a lot of fun stuff and enjoyed some time. So if you ever get in the area, just check it on out. Nice. We, and we thank you for coming along with us. Until then, this one's chronicled. Stay safe. Stay strong. And stay positive. That is correct. Later, guys.